Hi folks, welcome to Simple Logistics. So today we are going to discuss how to simulate or how to plan uh, the space uh, requirements and the layout for a material that you are about to receive, uh, a large quantity of uh, pallets, for example. How can we uh, foresee or plan how much space we need and how we are going to, to arrange uh, that in a way that will allow us to warehouse, to stock the material, and to uh, allow us to work uh, around uh, that material. So I'm going to share my screen with you guys. I used uh, Excel, uh, something that probably all you guys have access to. So it's simple to use, everybody knows how to use it. What I did it is uh, I put uh, the product uh, dimensions here. Since I live in Brazil, uh, we usually use the metric system around here. Uh, so if anybody is uh, watching this uh, from the US, uh, it's easy to make the conversions to inches and uh, yards. Just try to follow the method. So the, the numbers, uh, they don't really matter that much. So principle and the, the, the process is more important than the numbers, uh, the numbers themselves, okay? So what I did, I put the, the dimensions of the, the box here uh, for this product and how many boxes can uh, we stack maximum. And here I made a, a small design here using the shapes in Excel. And I did put as the properties here, the same dimensions or uh, similar uh, dimensions that uh, we have here uh, for the product. So this is kind of um, uh, a representation of the product that we are going to, to stock. Then I did the same thing for product B, which has uh, different dimensions. So I put a different color on, on the box. And then I did the same thing for the palettes. So uh, I did put um, a design here for palette. This is the shape of the, the palette, the dimensions here. So uh, I wanted to scale down. Uh, the pallet is one meter per one, uh, 1.2 meters. So I did put here 10 centimeters per 12 centimeters. So to scale, uh, uh, it's the same, the same dimensions as the real thing, okay? And then what I did is I could arrange here over the pallet design, I could arrange the boxes. So I know that for this box size, I can put eight boxes per layer in the pallet. As the maximum stacking was four layers, uh, we can have a total of 32 uh, boxes in this situation, in this pallet. And here you can see uh, a picture of a wooden pallet that we are going, probably going to use. I did the same thing for uh, product uh, B. It's also eight boxes per layer, but the maximum stacking is only three layers. So I could only uh, put 24 boxes of product B in a single uh, pallet. Then uh, after I have the, the pallet dimensions, and uh, the information of number of boxes per pallet, I can go for the, the layout. What I do here is I have a number of products, a number of boxes of product there that I'm going to uh, receive. And uh, I know that I'm going to receive uh, 1,200 boxes of product A and 1,000 boxes of product B. And uh, so I divide that, this number for the 
number of boxes per pallet, and I have the number of pallets. So I need 38 pallets for product A and 42 pallets for product B. And uh, so I started to make a design here. I uh, started tweaking with um, a warehouse that is about uh, 20 meters long per 15 meters width. And, you know, if you have a, a temporary uh, warehouse, like um, an inflatable uh, warehouse or a canvas uh, warehouse, then uh, you can use the whole side of the warehouse, you know, near the wall, to put products on the floor. So that's what I did here in this uh, simulation, this uh, layout. I started putting all the, the pallets here on the sides. I made uh, all the columns and, uh, uh, and the layers here, the same dimension as the pallets. Uh, per scale, so it's also one meter per one, one point two meters. So each uh, square here represents uh, one pallet that I'm going to uh, to stock in this uh, simulated warehouse. So I filled all the wall here, wall to wall twice, and I was left with uh, two uh, extra pallets that I put here on the sides. So I have all the 42 pallets of product B here, and I put all the 38 pallets of product A in the other side. So it's easy to, for workers to know that they have product A in one side of the warehouse and product B in the other side of the warehouse. So, and I also had a uh, space enough space to make a corridor, like a, a three meter wide for the, um, the forklift to, to run around the, these simulated warehouse. So this is a very simple way to make a layout for a temporary stock area or for a small warehouse to check if you have enough space to receive some uh, material load. It's always uh, a pain in the ass. If you don't check this, this kind of thing before, and then you receive uh, some cargo and you have nowhere to, to stock that cargo. So this, I wanted to make something practical for you guys that all of, all of you can, uh, can easily do. It's uh, simple, effective. It doesn't cost much. Uh, all you need is an Excel and a, and, and a notebook uh, to do this, and a lot of time <laughs> to uh, to make these small uh, representations of the boxes and the the pallets and tweak with the the layout. But you know, uh, in my experience, uh, the amount of hours that you put into planning is an amount of hours that you save later in operation. So it's always better to, to plan ahead and to, to have everything covered in this, in this front. Okay, so this was what I uh, had for you guys today. Please see the other videos, leave your comments uh, for us, and uh, keep coming back, okay? Bye.